Brian Bach. I'm the president and founder of Bach Steam Star. And we've got our donate for discount going on this month of January, where we are raising funds for our Healthy Village project uh, campaign for LifeWater International. And uh, it's real simple, you save 20% off all of our services if you give a little bit to our, our fund uh, project. And we've got something special today. I am joined actually with the CEO of LifeWater International, Dave Levon. And Dave, thank you so much for joining us. Brian, it is a privilege to be here. I'm excited about what you guys are doing and your donate for discount is a very novel and uh, cool idea. Thanks Thank for doing you. that. Well, we appreciate you and all, all you're doing there. But Dave, for, for the folks that may not be familiar with LifeWater International, give, give them a kind of an overview of, of what LifeWater does and kind of how they work. Absolutely. Um, LifeWater has been, as an org organization, has been around since 1977, so about 40 some years. And what we do is we work in primarily Sub Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia, and we're bringing uh, clean water, sanitation, hygiene, and hope to families that don't have access to clean water. Awesome. And we do that uh, currently, we're in four countries Uganda, Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Cambodia. And uh, so what is your role? What's a, what's a normal day look like for you? And how do you fit into this mess? I'm not sure in uh, a, a coming off of COVID, I'm not sure what normal is anymore. But uh, my role as CEO with the organization, I joined the organization just over a year ago. And so my role is really uh, helping uh, make sure that we stay true to our vision and our mission and keeping us focused um, on bringing clean water, on bringing hope uh, to people. And uh, that's been a challenge in COVID, of course, but we've had to change some of our strategies and how we do things. Um, but it is, uh, it is, in fact, leading the organization in that charge to, to fulfill the mission before us. Nice. So how'd you, get, how'd you wind up being the CEO of an international charity like LifeWater? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, it's a, it's a long story, but I'll give you the short version. Uh, I spent a lot of time in the uh, corporate world uh, and also I had my own uh, organization for a while and uh, really um, looking to make a, a move into the nonprofit area. I had met uh, the folks from LifeWater years ago when I was helping my church find uh, and align with partners globally and locally. And so I'd been so impressed with the work LifeWater does, uh, specifically the holistic approach um, and the sustainability of the programs yeah. they put in place. That's an interesting point. Talk about this, I guess, how good of a job that LifeWater's done in keeping their projects going. The sustainability, I think, is an important point. Share with that. Absolutely, Brian. Um, there's a lot of good activity that happens in the, in wash, water, sanitation, hygiene. Um, but I think the, the constant striving to say, how do we make sure it's sustainable? So when we've, we've done something as an organization, when we leave that, it, it, that the, the effects of, and the benefits are still there. So uh, LifeWater does a really uh, a good job. And actually, as I was investigating nonprofits and looking for uh, ones to partner with, uh, LifeWater just stood out. And um, I think it's because there's got to be uh, clean water as well as behavioral change, as well as a deeper understanding, as well as uh, ownership uh, by the community. So it's not, it's not reaching down and pulling the community. It's, it's, it's getting, getting next to them and, and it's coming alongside the community and helping them figure out how to solve the problem and the problem of not having clean water and all of the negative effects that that has on their community. Yeah, I think I, I think I heard the stat uh, after five years, 98% of the water projects are still in operation. And yes. I think what's the 25% of the water projects around the world fail. I think so this is uh, statistics on, on water wells are about 40 to 60% depending on the region after uh, several years are no longer uh, operational. And uh, so, yes, we have experienced that. It was just about seven years ago, we started this vision of a healthy village. And it really is engaging uh, churches and schools and government and, and the village to say, how do we solve this problem holistically? Because if we just do it in homes, uh, kids are still going to school. 
if, we, if there are not access to latrines, hand washing stations and clean water at school, some of the same disease transmission and th things like that will still happen. So yes, we've been very uh, pleased with the results and being able to look back at programs that we started three and four years ago and look at the sustainability of those programs. Yeah, it all starts with, with clean water. We don't get the clean water right. It's hard for the rest of communities to, to prosper. I've, I've seen that as a, in 2015 when we went to Haiti as just how the impact of that can happen. So, and we, we appreciate that. And uh, any, how would somebody get involved with Life Water if they wanted to? Well, a, a great way would be to go to our website at uh, lifewater.org and to do some research. I would say this about anything. Actually, when I was researching Life Water, I wanted to know a little bit more about it. How, how are the funds used? What's the program? Um, and the, the organization has done a great job uh, putting information out there. Um, and, and if you have questions, we've got uh, uh, folks that can help answer questions or help guide, or if you have a certain passion um, for how clean water helps entrepreneurialism or helps families or helps empower women, there's lots of amazing benefits of just having that basic clean water. Um, we would be happy to talk with you about how your passion may fit in with, with the, the work that we're doing. Fantastic. Well, we're going to wrap up here. I know you're busy, busy guy and get back to doing the good work, but we thank you for the good work that you are doing. We're, we're honored to be a part of your life water family here and hope that we can just keep and continue this and uh, let our water clean theirs. So thank, thank you again, Dave, for being with us today. Brian, thanks for having us. Uh, we are so grateful for the partnership and the priority that you've placed on life water being in integrated in the business that you do. Thank you. God bless you. Have a good day. Thanks.